Now we look at part 4 of government intervention of the demand and supply analysis. I will talk about application of tariffs. A tariff is a tax on a foreign good. Application of quotas is when only a certain amount of goods or services are allowed in the country. The application of taxes in general and in the minimum and maximum pricing intervention by the government. Now tariffs and taxes work the same in that they increase the um, price of input um, which will mean that the supply curve will shift to the left. The new price will include um, the amount of tax included so from PE to this new price up here P1 it'll be the amount of extra tax. You can see here that the extra tax has increased the cost of productions which has led to a decrease in quantity demanded and increase in the price. Now let's look at quotas. Quotas are a direct um, limit to an amount of goods allowed into a market. So for example a maximum quota in this instance will obviously have to be less than um, QE. And here we have at QQ the um, supply curve becomes vertical um, where only so many items are allowed in this market. So what that means is that the price will go from PE to P1. So once the supply curve hits QQ doesn't matter what price <coughs> you can see here at QQ once it becomes vertical it will then go up to where it meets the demand curve where consumers are willing to buy that product so the new price will end up at being at P1. Now let's look at minimum pricing. That's to protect producers and mainly to um, reduce price fluctuations, mainly farmers in this instance. The consequences of this include that we have government stockpiling through cons uh, persistent surpluses that are created and in some instances those um, surpluses may be dumped on foreign markets which is unfair and also legal from the World, World Trade Organization. Let's have a look at how this works diagrammatically. You have uh, a perfectly operating market at PE and QE and if we impose a new price at PM then what we have is um, an oversupply of where the PM line marks the supply curve so suppliers are willing to supply that higher price but at the higher price consumers are saying no, this is too expensive, we're not buying it. And which creates a surplus of Q2 minus Q1. Let's have a look at the opposite side, the maximum pricing. And that is there for consumers. And governments sometimes set maximum pricing. For example, they did it with milk and some essential goods. In this instance, because the price the maximum price is set below the equilibrium price, the shortage will occur and competition will include in, in increase. The consequences include queues, black markets, so people trying to get around it, um, and rationing may be imposed. Here we have a perfectly functioning market. We then impose a minimum price. As you can see, it's below the original minimum equilibrium price. And if that is set, what we have is um, Q2 being demanded because the price is so low, but there's not so much to be made by producers, and they are only willing to produce Q1. So therefore, we have a shortage of Q2 uh, minus Q1.